begat the electoral democracy of Le Mans. Now he happened to be overthrown <laughs> 31st December. And our laws and the constitutional provisions are clearly against that. Kojo Bwachijan was a journalist with the Daily Graphic newspaper. He was recruited into the army attached to the public relations section. He later joined the military intelligence and then to the 5th Infantry Battalion where he and three others masterminded the June 4, 1979 uprising. An ex-military captain, Dr. Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklu, says their action brought change to the country. The idea was to disengage the military from running the country because by then the military was in charge of almost everything. We had officers who were sent to various corporations, who had the corporations. They also tried their best to bring accountability. He charged young people, particularly those in politics, to learn from what happened 30 years ago. People, especially young people, who these days think through politics, they can make money. They must think about it twice. Definitely, they, one day have to account for it. The soldiers, they are watching. They are part of us. I'm not saying that there should be a military coup. No. The most dangerous one is the upheaval of the populace itself. Our leaders should be sincere. We must have leaders who respect the people. Brigadier General Nunu Mensa, retired, described him as a Democrat. He and Rollins fell apart and never reconciled until both of them have now died and gone away in a peace way. He came back to Ghana and tried to do politics. I remember very well, he tried to stand in his constituency, you know, which is something which I also did. We don't believe that uh, if we just want to do politics, they should take up the gun against uh, a constitutional government. But they should put, put down a uniform and then, you know, get into politics. He wasn't a professional soldier as such, but he did, I believe, what I call short service commission to serve in the, in the armed forces. You know, so I remember him for his, uh, his opposition to, uh, to military rule. He urged leaders to manage state affairs to prevent military takeovers. Those in, in power to, when you vote them to power, they should run their affairs of the state, such that Soviet don't have any excuse to come and intervene in politics. The problem with uh, Niger and uh, Burkina Faso and Gabon is not to be solved you know, by force. You will not solve it. You will just find out what the hell is going on, sit down with them and talk, so that we have a political role for those who are doing politics, not for soldiers as such. Major Kojo Bwachijan died at the 37 Military Hospital on August 30 at age 81.